Hi guys, I'm Luke. Welcome to another video by Wondershare FamiSafe. We are the parental control solution that gives you all the tools you need to protect your kids from the negative side of the internet. Today we're here to discuss a common issue that many parents want to resolve as soon as possible. Yes, we're talking about blocking websites in Google Chrome that you don't want your kids on. The internet is stacked with hundreds of websites that are not suitable for a growing child. These websites include everything from pornography to violent content. So, to protect children from such content, it makes sense for us parents to block such websites. In this episode, we'll take a look at different ways to filter particular websites on the internet so that you can incorporate a safe search in Google Chrome into your kid's life. But, before we proceed any further, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future updates. Now, back to our video. Let's first dive a bit deeper into the importance of using the Google Chrome Child Filter to block some of the websites on your kids' devices. Basically, as we mentioned earlier, the internet is an amalgamation of a wide variety of websites. While some of these websites are relatively useful, the majority of them are not ideal for a growing child. They might contain vulgar, sensitive, or misleading content that could put your child on the wrong path. So to keep your kids safe, it's necessary to filter out some of the websites so that your kids can only access relevant and useful content. Another reason why you might want to block some of the websites is data protection. Today, there are dozens of online platforms that use users' personal data against them, which ultimately results in cyberbullying. In fact, studies have revealed that millions of kids fall victim to cyberbullying every year after they share personal information on different miscellaneous websites. So, to protect kids from encountering such situations, why not use methods to block some of the websites? So now that you know why it's crucial to filter websites on Google Chrome, Let's take a look at the three different ways to block unreliable websites on the internet. The easiest method to block a website is through a dedicated extension. Google Chrome's built-in store is stacked with dozens of such extensions that you can install on your browser and use to block any website with just one click. One such extension is BlockSite. Step one, open Google Chrome and go to the Chrome store. In the search bar, type BlockSite and click on the first search result. Then, tap the Add to Chrome button to add this extension to your browser. Step two. After the extension gets installed, its icon will appear in the notification bar at the top right corner of the screen. Step three. From now on, all you have to do is visit the website that you want to block and then click the icon. Then tap the Block This Site button to block the particular website. Another way to block a website and ensure a safe search in Google Chrome is by simply blocking the desired websites through your router. What makes this method a bit better than using an extension is the ability to block the website across all the devices that connect to the particular Wi-Fi network. So even by switching their smartphone or trying to access the website on a desktop, your kids still won't be able to get the job done. Here's how you can block a website directly through your router. Step one, again, open Google Chrome and type your router's address in the address bar. In general, the router address looks something like this. Step two, now based on which Wi-Fi router you're using, you'll have to follow a dedicated approach to get on the block a website screen. Step three, once you reach this screen, simply add the web addresses that you want to block to complete the process. The two methods that we've discussed so far can both allow users to block particular websites on the internet. But to be honest, there are certain drawbacks that don't make them the most reliable option to filter out unnecessary websites. For instance, even if you block particular websites on your Wi-Fi router, your kids could still connect the device to the cellular network and visit the blocked website without any interruption. So what's a better solution to promote safe search in Google Chrome regardless of the network your kids are connected to? Well, the answer is Wondershare FamiSafe. As we mentioned at the beginning, FamiSafe is a full-scale parental control solution that's designed to help parents track their kids' online activities and ensure they aren't visiting any irrelevant websites on their phones, laptops, or iPads. Apart from tracking online activities, you can also use the tool to track your child's real-time GPS location. 
This way you can stay assured that your kids aren't roaming around unnecessarily outside. If you want, you can even set geo restrictions to ensure they don't step outside the desired premises after school. As far as filtering out websites is concerned, FamiSafe offers a simple and easy to use way to block specific categories. This way you'll be able to block multiple websites by simply blocking a particular category. Here's how you can block particular websites from Google Chrome using Wondershare FamiSafe. Step one. First of all, download and install FamiSafe on yours and your kid's smartphone. Then open the app on both the devices and specify your device as the parent. Step two. Now open the FamiSafe app on your smartphone and then go to its dashboard. Here tap the web filter option and you'll see a list of different website genres. All you have to do is select the categories that you would like to block. And that's it. All of the websites that fall under the particular category will get blocked automatically and they won't open up on your kid's phone regardless of the network connection they use. So that's a wrap on today's episode. We hope this video helped you understand different ways to implement web filters for Google Chrome. In case you still have any queries about blocking websites on the internet, drop a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, make sure to like this video and share it with your friends. And to see more videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future updates.